I've only been down here for a couple of hours and I can see it's so obvious why people come here to visit Ari. Good evening and welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob and I'm here in Ari in Bangkok, Thailand. Today we're just going to be doing an exploring video. I've got some recommendations for places to stay, places to eat and just some cool places just to check out in the area. So yeah, join me today in getting lost in Ari, Bangkok, Thailand. Okay, so this behind me is the Deaf Awareness Cafe. There's a lot of things to be aware of. I don't know if uh, Deaf is going to be one of them. You can actually get a tour around there. You can buy a ticket, take about an hour to look around. But I want to keep this video a positive vibe video. So we're not going to be doing that today. I'm going to quickly poke my head in and show you what there is around the entrance and that. And then we're going to move on to something more fun. So you can get your tickets here for either the exhibition or the escape room um, or well if you just want to have a look around the grounds you can do. It's kind of like this little back alley that leads to some gardens and that, I don't know, it looks pretty cool so we'll check them out as well. I don't know, I don't think that's going to be my cup of tea. Let's go and find something a little bit more fun. I've actually mentioned this place uh, in the past. This is kind of like the Gherkin fake ripoff. I don't know, it looks exactly like the Gherkin that's in London, but this one's called the Pearl. Now, I don't really know a whole lot about Ari, and I'll just be honest with you about that. I know it's all bits and bobs. I know this is a, a hipster neighborhood, and a lot of people like to come here for a more chilled experience. I've heard the food here is absolutely amazing. Well, that's why this is uh, more of an exploring video. I could just Google search and pretend I know about everything in the area and, you know, just wing it. But what's the, what's the point of that? I'd rather come, explore, find for myself, and share my experiences with you guys. So just behind me is a hostel. I know, I know it's a hostel, but trust me, you want to come and visit this one. It's been highly recommended to me to a friend and I looked online and it seems to be like the most recommended hostel in the area. It's super chilled in there and they treat you like family. When you walk around there, you're in amongst trees and just happy people. It's just a really good vibe in there, sort of overall. So yeah, come and check out the yard. See what people mean about all the trees. I know there's traffic and everything, and can you hear that? Not the traffic. That is the sound of Thailand. I absolutely love that noise. I don't know what the bird's called, but you know when you're in Thailand when you hear it. Now look at these uh, unique looking houses. I've never seen this kind of design, not in, uh, not in Bangkok anyway. Absolutely loving the designs around here, the architecture and everything is completely different. So on the one hand, Ari is really chilled with the trees and the birds and all sorts. But on the other hand, a few of the roads around here are really, really chaotic and busy. So, you know, it's kind of a mixture of two and well, I don't know, I'll let you be the judge. It seems to be like a lot of these sort of little complexes around when we've got sort of like 10 to 20 sort of different restaurants and bars and things to do and um they've got they're pretty unique they've got like different things in each one of them so you should check out each one and just sort of see which one suits you I 
I've only been down here for a couple of hours and I can see it's so obvious why people come here to visit Ari. And I can even imagine myself moving to like a location like this. There's so much to see and do and there's so much street food. I think it's the street food that gets me the most. But uh, there's so much, yeah, just you've got the flower place there, you've got this place here. We're going to check this place out now. It's uh, apparently one of the most Instagram places in the world. So uh, I'll be the judge of that. So this is Gump's Ari, arguably one of the most Instagram places here in Bangkok. They purposely set it up so you can come here and get that perfect Instagram shot. They even have their own little tripods that are fixed to the ground, so if you don't have your own, you can use the ones that are here. So even the swimming pool that's down there is just perfectly set up for you to just play around with and get those perfect Instagram in the pool shots if you wanted to. It's just there for that reason alone. So I'm always videoing myself anyway, I don't need any selfies, but for you guys, if you want to come and get that perfect Instagram shot, I'm sorry, it's the place to come. Just behind me is a place called Hans Cow Soy Lovers, which is actually kind of closer to uh, Safan Kwai than it is to Ari. I'm cheating a little bit, but Gary Butler recommended this place. So if he says it's good, it's gonna be good. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Oh man, that did not disappoint at all. I didn't go for the cow soy because I thought it would be a little bit too spicy, but I had the chicken biryani and just perfect. Nice one, Gary, I appreciate it. My first impressions of uh, Ari is it's unique, interesting, chaotic, just it's something different. You really feel like you're in a different area of Bangkok and it's got like its own little vibe to it. I'm 100% going to come back here and check it out. I might even stay at the yard and spend like a solid two days checking out all of the alleyways and sort of hidden stuff so I can share it with you guys. If you got this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Please share my content if you think it's good. And if you haven't hit that like button already, then please do so. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.